you ever have a model you just can't get to print, and even though your exposure is beyond the recommended settings of your resin, the issue might not be exposure, but it might just be that the pre-supported model uses used support tips that are just a little bit too small. So what I'd like to do on that to first is verify that. What I'm looking for is any support tip that's structural, that's probably below 0.04 millimeters. A lot of individuals will use 3 or 3.5. And in this one I've noticed is that for most resins, it's just not enough. So the very first thing to do is look for the types of supports that are going to be at the bottom of the model, some of the first to print, and just confirm that they are a little bit smaller than probably what would be recommended. So there's a couple ways to do that. For one, you can just kind of go through and look at the model, look at the first layers and see where they're at. This one's 0.35. And as you kind of go up, you'll see there's certain big islands like the feet. Um, and just kind of look around, yeah, 0.25. Pretty small, 0.35 again, not terrible, but maybe a little bit lower than, than you know where you want to be for a, a support that's structural. Depending on the way it's supported, there's another method you can do, where if you click on supports, uh, selection, and on this one I like to do um, select all supports except minis. Minis are generally used for details and not for structure. So for most pre-supported items, this is a good way to kind of really look at what structure and what's detail. On this one, I can see the average is about 0.35. Um, for, mo for some of those, that's gonna be okay, but for some of them, it's gonna be a little bit under and be one of the issues why this particular model or ones like it, it can be a little difficult to print. So the way to fix this, if you have Pro, if you don't have um, Pro, what you can do is just change it right here, but that's not always the best way. Uh, awesome Pro features to click on tip and then click on this uh, plus or minus calculator right here. From here, you can actually just change it how you want, but what I, what I like to do is click on percent and then just increase the supports based on the percent. This way they will all scale depending on what they are. The issue with just doing them all a set is that not all of these supports are actually structural. And we do lead into around the hand um, and a few other places that are more um, detail driven and less structural driven. So if I just do plus 10% to 110, this is going to not overblow some of them while making sure some of these structural ones are just big enough. Hit apply on that. And now if I look at some of these bottom ones, they're 0.39, a little bit under the 0.4, but it's fine. 0.01 uh, millimeters isn't enough to really change anything. So from here, this model will be much easier to print. Uh, you'll have a lot more control over your exposure where you can lean more towards dimensional accuracy and get those high details. Um, and maybe even just where you're at right now, let's just say you printed a whole build plate of models, only one of them didn't print, the rest of them did. Uh, this is a good way to go in there, just boost it up a little bit, keep your settings the same, print it. The odds of your success going up by quite a bit are, are quite high. I cover this and many more topics in my guide, J3D Tech's Guide to Resin Printing, Beginners Through Advanced. I thank you for watching and have a good day.